Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is uh, the general reading um, for the month of uh, September 2020. I want to say to each and every person, um, thank you for your wonderful likes, shares, and support. My excuse is that the general reading didn't come out last month, but this month we're going to be going and getting in it. So, alrighty, a beautiful spread, um, a beautiful month. There's a lot of trans transition that is going to be coming up in this month. And if you look at the wonderful energies that is going to be um, coming out, it is a really beautiful. I'm glad I decided to use this deck. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we adjourn, I want to say please like and share these videos. Share, 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 and uh, if you have not become a member of the channel, please become a member of the channel if this is your first time. I am glad you could stop by, and I am asking you to return. This is wonderful, wonderful alignment of energy, wonderful positive energies that is coming up, and a positive transition um, that is going to come in. This month of September has five weeks and it is the energy of the hair event. Okay. It is the air, the energy of the air event. We can see the air event popping up in, um, the third week, the fourth week. So it is the energy of the air event in this month and it is popping up in the third week. So wonderful alignment of energies. Let's get in your reading. We are going to be going week, 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 week by week. Um, happy birthday to the Virgos. Um, and, uh, happy birthday to the Virgos. Um, and uh, um, just stay safe, Virgos. Um, this is wonderful. Um, please stay safe. So, um, happy birthdays to the Virgos and the Libran. This year has gone so fast. So, wonderful alignment of energies. So, let's get in your reading. So, the first week is going to be a very beautiful week because we have the energy of the sun. Um, then we have um, um, some information is coming out that is going to give you a new start. So wonderful alignment of energies. People could be starting a new job. People could be starting new things. People um, are successfully um, ending studies and that sort of a thing. And uh, um, I see that the energy of the sun with a world beside it, it is really a really positive alignment of energies. So um, take in these energies and use them to the best of your ability. Some of you were waiting on some information. This information is going to be coming out. And this information is uh, going to be giving you a really wonderful, positive new start, pushing you forward in a really positive um, alignment of energy. So this is so powerful. So with the energy of with the sun and judgment, it could be that um, you weren't feeling well, that sort of a thing, and you're going to be recovering in the first week of September. September is a month of healing, so let's remember that because um, a lot of people are not aware. Um, it is the month where a lot of healings take place. So then we see the energy of the world, and this is so wonderful, so powerful. In the second week, um, a cycle is over. Um, it could be health issues that people were having. Um, the cycle is over. Um, they are, they have, um, uh, um, a miraculous come out of the situation. And I see light is going to be shedding on something. Um, I see information and light is going to be shedding on something. So, um, a mirac miraculous uh, um, happening is going to be happening, especially when you have uh, the sun, the world, and the magician together. Some sort of a miraculous uh, situation is going to be happening um, where something unexpected is. So it's um, unbelievable something unexpected happened. And if you see the ages of this um, five-star 
and um, how it connects the light with all the points of the star. That means something unexpectedly um, is going to be happening and working out for you guys. And that is going to be good. Now, whatever the magician bring in, it is going to be given a new start. And as you see, the energy of judgment uh, with the magician and light is being shed on something. Um, which is going to be giving a lot of you a lot of a positive new alignments of energy is as ever some um, blockages is uh, um, lifted okay so um, this could comes up in all sort of a situation like unexpectedly something miraculous happen and then all the pieces falls together and this is what these two weeks are saying um, to you guys. So this is a really wonderful, beautiful alignment of energy that is bringing um, in some sort of a transition in your world. As we look at the third week, we have uh, the energy of the hamper. And this has to do with boss, institution, organization. And I see um, something to do with uh, materialistic wealth. So some of you could be getting married. Um, it is more of marriages uh, um, and it is more of uh, um, something that was stolen from you will be returned because this energy of the Empress is going to be bringing back whatever it is that was stolen from you. Uh, um, I see people in power is working in alignments to bring down the energy of the devil. And what is so good, you can see that the energy of the devil is at the bottom and that is a very responsible place for the energy of the devil to be at the bottom because it is ending a situation that has been going on. Light is shedding on some deceptive play that was going on. People are going to be seeing some truth about some um, deceptive play um, that was going on. And as if uh, people in power have now finally seen um, some issues that was transpiring. So it could be legal issues, uh, um, marriages, uh, connection, that sort of a situation that is coming up and is transpiring. And I see a resolution because people in power is going to be coming in in order to resolve a situation and an issue and seeing the truth of what has transpired. So this is beautiful having um, the Empress. Um, a lot of you um, could be finding out why you're unable to have a child. Like this is the month that the truth is going to be coming out, that some light is going to be shedding, especially for people who are trying to have a child. Some information is going to be coming out. Some information could be coming out about uh, um, um, a marriage or a soulmate, that sort of a thing, and how people have aggressively used some form of situation. The sun is bringing back, um, somehow they're going to be finding a way in order to treat some of you for your infertility. Okay. So if you, if, if you were, um, having issues, infertility issues, um, the sun is going to be coming out and shedding light on how to resolve this issue. And it is very good. Then as we look in the fourth week, we have the energy with the, um, the couple, um, the lovers, a corporation, and I see some healing. Okay. So this is good. Finally, there is some sort of a resolution for people, um, who, um, wanted to get married, um, or, uh, people who had some sort of an issue, relationship issue. I see that you could be going for help. I see, um, couples who had some sort of a, um, issues that was coming up. Um, this also is going to be resolved and people are going to be, um, helping some of you out because this couple, um, is showing up and I see the corporation institution is bringing some healing to a situation and it could be a family situation also. So this is a really beautiful and to be honest, all these weeks are beautiful. Um, and it's as if it's shedding light and it's healing, 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 resolving. So the energy of the star is here with a couple and some sort of a thing. Some some of you could be giving birth. Um, some of you, um, there could be issues with your kids. Um, you could be going into hospital. Some of you, your partner may be sick and is going to be getting well. 
Um, so this is good. So the eel in week, if you want to do anything with eel in, the eel in week is coming up in the fourth week, the first week and the fourth week. And as we look at the last week, it's another eel in week where we have uh, the star and the star has something to do with a corporation institution that some um deceptiveness came out uh, with a corporation institution and people are seeing light is being shed on something in a corporation institution and people are seeing exactly what has happened and what has transpired so this is good because whoever was dealing with some sort of an issue in a corporation institution, you're going to be realizing that you're going to be overcoming this because they found out some sort of, a, um, yeah, something that was not clear is now clear and they're seeing um, the connection of how this works, okay? So it could be that some of you ask uh, um, for some sort of a documentation information and it was taking a very long time is because someone was using their powers in order to keep it um, um, not to come out, the truth not to come out. And now I see that people are stepping on it and is realizing what has transpired. So we have the energy of the star and the moon. So um, the star is coming up and showing up some secrecy in a corporation institution. And if you guys realize, there's twice the energy of the moon. And this is very beautiful because uh, um, the energy is that uh, um, twice the energy of the moon is secrecy is coming out. And what does this say? It's a powerful epiphany, letting go of worries and fear, understanding the truth about a situation. So it is um, this month, this month is going to be um um powerful epiphany um information coming out that was not uh, that people were not aware of so the energy of the moon is always about secrecy it's always about um intuition but this two moons is powerful um intuition and this is it every deck is programmed i program my decks and this moon is always about the intuition and information that was not aware some other decks is enemies okay and you are protected from your enemies or you're going to be finding out about your enemies but this desk is all is really about powerful um intuition um, epiphany that is going to be coming out so powerful secrets that was kept by corporation institution is going to be coming out and I see a balance is going to be coming in and justice is going to prevail so in the month of September there could be a lot of world um, uh, things in the world that information is going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out the, um, things um, that they were not um, aware of is as if secrecy that was kept and this is going to be coming out in the first week and the last week the first week and the last week and and this is when um, people are kept out of the dark because of uh, some sort of uh, um, uh, secrecy that that was there some sort of a secrecy, but I see um, you're going to be released um, with the secrecy um, that was kept. The secrecy is going to be released because I see the energy of the moon is showing up, really, really showing up um, what was transpiring in a corporation institution. And uh, it's going to be letting go. People are going to be, it's all about um, materialistic stability, wealth, and um, a fertility, um, creating your own happiness and joy in this month. And you're going to be seeing that really coming up. And it is going to be, especially for psychic people, it's going to be a powerful month for psychic people, mediums, um, um, you know, however um, you work with the spirit world, it's going to be very, very powerful. Um, but it is a month of good magic, not black magic, white magic, not black magic. OK, so it is an, a, a really powerful alignment of energies, because if you notice, you begin with the energy of the sun and you end with the energy of 
um, justice and, and, and this means there is a powerful, you are going to be um, successfully overcoming some form of injustice that was created by people who have used their powers because I see it's as if the eater is saying no, no. It's as if the universe is saying no, no. We are going to be showing up and letting people know exactly what was um, transpiring. If you notice the magician um, and the um, emperor and the, the, the organization, the Hierophant, how this is set up, it's like the eaters say, the universe say, no, not anymore. People need to know the secrets exactly what is happening and what is transpiring. And as you look at the bottom, um, you see... Um, light has been shed on some really um, unfavorable situation and a healing is going to be coming in. So if you just look and understand and in the center, um, what is here is that it's as if Mother Heart is coming up and is saying, no, no, this is not happening. And if you see, you have the Emperor and the Empress. Um, which is um, father hurt and mother hurt is coming up and it's as if they're shedding light. Um, these powerful um, um, mother and father of the universe is coming up and working with corporation, institution and the magician to release you. This can be a situation where the eradication of uh, um, the virus, the secrecy, um, secrecy that was kept from humanity is going to be coming out and and here you can see it is as if a, a judgment call because as you look at this you see um a judgment call and unexpectedly something magically it's going to be happening and people in corporation institution um people who in power have to um stand up and recognize exactly what is happening because light is going to be shedding on what people were not aware of and because of this i see some healing success is going to be coming in humanity is going to be having this powerful connection with each other again and i see healing is going to be coming up and mother hurt is here that is going to be bringing the healing so if you notice even in um, um, the cross, it's uh, the emperor, the mother and the father showing up and removing whatever, and, um, you know, unrealistic thing that was going on. And then a judgment call is coming in and something magical is going to be happening. And uh, as you realize what is transpiring here, um, the empress, she is standing there. It's like Mother Her is saying, hey, um, you know, people in corporation institution need to speak the truth. There's a whole lot of secrecy that is kept and it's the and humanity is not aware. And I see this female energy because that is where we're going in. The female energy. And as you notice, the world, the empress and um, balance. This is powerful because whatever was happening and transpiring, a cycle is going to be coming in and um, a ship of energy, the free male energy is going to be shifting in a higher frequency. And there, that is going to be bringing in an alien on the planet. As you look at the diamond, the diamond is also look at these two beautiful people whatever that was transpiring infertility issues with pregnancy that sort of a thing people are going to be finding that out so if people were trying 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 um to get pregnant and it wasn't happening people are going to be finding that out and there is going to be a resolution because an healing is going to be coming in there's a lot of situation that is going to be happening around hospitals where there could be new healing mortality that is going to be coming in and that sort of a frequency. So what we're seeing also is that whatever this judgment call is, it's going to be opening an alignment of new frequency on this planet, bringing healing, maturity, healing, 
um, with corporation institutions, speaking the truth, um, letting, giving information to the public that they were not aware of. And it's going to be bringing out uh, um, information, whether health, whether it's health or secrecy about what has been transpiring. A new start is going to be coming in for humanity. And I see this new start is going to be um, unexpectedly happening and people in power is going to be have to take in a, a, um, a thing their ability for what they have done. So people who use their power have to stand a state ability of what they have done. And you can see this energy um, that is going to be coming up and that is going to transpire. They need to stand up and accept um, 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 acceptability of what they have done. And I see that a whole lot of people who have used their powers in the wrong way is going to be have to be standing up towards what they have done and how they have done this. So it's a wonderful, beautiful month. When we look at a, a new start is coming up, you have the energy of a new start is coming up and there is healing at the end of the, the road. And this is really mighty and powerful. This is a really is as if whatever that was happening from January until now, until August, September brings in the big gun and September is going to be taken down everything that is transpiring. So some judgment call is going to be coming in. A cycle is going to be over. I see the energy of the Empress is here. That is working together um, with the Hermit in order to give uh, like humanity some new start, some really happy, um, positive energy vibes is going to be coming up. Uh, and um, um, I see truths is going to be coming out about people who have been using their powers and has been um, creating some sort of an issue using their powers. And they're going to be finding out that um, these people, is, they're going to be showed up. People who are were using their powers in the wrong way is definitely, definitely is going to show up. And I see justice is going to be coming in on these people because you see the energy of the devil and the magician above the devil that is taking down this sort of a negative frequency um, that was uh, transpiring on this planet. As we move and shift, we see the energy of the Empress. A lot of people are going to be finding uh, um, soulmate or um, the energy of children is going to be coming up because the feminine energy and the maturity is going to be coming up. And I see a lot of secrecy is going to be coming out. A secret uh, um, things that was kept is definitely going to be coming out. Handshake, secret handshake. Uh, um, um, people who paid on the, the table to get things done, that sort of a thing. This is all about secret and shape. Things that, um, people were hoping not to come out is now going to be coming out because I see here the energy of uh, some healing is coming in after, um, some people have used their powers in the wrong way. And it has to do with people in authority that has used their powers in the wrong way. And now an healing is going to be coming out and justice prevail. So ladies and gentlemen, there is no question. And this is a year where secrecy, secret and shake, secret contracts are going to be, um, light is going to be shedding on these things. And this is what is definitely is transpiring. And as you see, the sun is bringing out and is showing up uh, and is letting people be aware of things that was happening that was causing humanity a whole lot. And it has to do with corporation institution. And I see you guys are going to be a release, release from this sort of energy. And here is it, the feminine energy. And I have done a video. Um, I don't remember when it was about the um, uh, upcoming of the feminine energy. And as you notice the reign of uh, um, the masculine authoritarian energy is going to be um, coming down because justice is going to be coming up on these um, masculine energies that has been creating and lying and um, manipulating 
um, humanity and society and the empress, the female energy is making sure that she is um, making sure that this is happening. Because if you notice, she um, is bringing a cycle to an end. Okay, she's bringing a cycle to an end and she's bringing back healing for humanity and she's um, um, also connecting soulmate twin flames together and this is what it was meant to be so if you notice when you look at the reverse of this you have the sun bringing back a soul family um soul family um soul group um soulmate twin flames then you have judgment over a corporation institution because truth is going to be coming out over a corporation institution. Then you have a new start because healing is going to be coming in with this beautiful new start that is coming up. Then as you look at the second week comparing with the last week, you see the energy of a cycle is now over with people who were using their powers and being very, very um um on savor and a uh, healing is going to be coming in then you see um this energy of the magician is letting out the secrecy that was going on in the world and the secrecy against humanity then we see truths are coming out light is being shed on things that we were not aware of and justice justice prevail ladies and gentlemen it is uh, going to be a wonderful um powerful powerful month um that is going to be coming up um the energy of the sun um is shedding light with the magician and it is going to be affecting a lot of people now i'm gonna um give what is going to be happening and do um who is going to be affected in each week because this is a five week um a month a very long month okay so in the first week the people who are going to be affected is the leo the scorpions and uh, um the aquarian the leo the scorpions and the aquarian in the second week the people who are going to be affected is the capricorns the gemini's and the Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini's, and Pisces in the second week. In the third week, we have the energy of uh, um, the Aries, the Capricorn, and um, the Aries. Okay, so this is where we reach uh, the energy of the devil. A lot of people, and this is what I'm trying to explain to people, um, you gotta go deeper and understand the cycles and the energy the devil is the ram okay that is the energy of the aries this energy is the energy of a ram of the aries the aries is a ram it's not a bull it's like the steer it's not a bull a capricorn is um half goat a fish okay so we need to educate ourselves about, about that everyone is coming out oh the devil energy is the capricorn oh capricorn oh you have the energy of the devil no because the energy of the devil is a ram and a ram in other languages is the Aries. okay so there is a connection with all languages all um tinder so anyway so we have the um the authority which um this is the energy of the aries and the devil so it is people that use their powers in wrong way and the capricorn stand here and said okay all right you have uh, work your magic and did everything and now i'm bringing balance to the situation now i'm resolving this situation now you have your reign and i'm bringing in this feminine energy, this nurturing energy, this mother energy in order to bring balance in this world. Okay. Um, so if you notice the Capricorn and um, the Taurus, is, this is really an earth energy, especially in the, 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 the second week. 
this powerful earth energy is going to be coming in where um this is so beautiful because here you are seeing the energy of the magician um the judgment uh, the judgment and uh, um, a cycle is over and a new cycle is going to be coming in because it's so it says the eater, the source of all things said, now I'm about to work my magic. This is like arcane, um, 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 Archangel Raziel, uh, Archangel Metatron, um, um, oh my God, um, there is a Saint Germain. Um, this is the angel, the, the energy of uh, Metatron, uh, Raziel, and Saint Germain that is bringing out and springing out the Etra using the energy to resolve. Okay, so as we look at uh, the fourth week, uh, the energy of the Cancer and the Gemini is here in the first, uh, for the fourth week, uh, um, with the Tauruses, the Bull. And uh, with the Virgos. So if you notice, uh, hurt, uh, the hurt people are bringing balance to this earth. And this is what I've always saying to people. That the hurt um, um, have the energy vibration and bring balance to the hurt. So here you're seeing um, Cancer, Gemini, uh, Taurus and Virgo in the fourth week. The fifth week. We have the energy of the Aquarian coming back again. Um, then we have the energy of this Cancer again. And we see justice prevail. Now justice is always a symbol for the liberals, But it is a symbol for each and every person. Justice, the world. And this is just so powerful. It's a mighty powerful month. A month of revolution, secrecy, healing. That is going to be coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, please like and share these videos um, for um, so that each and every person can have this video um, to um, realign with the energies that is going to be um, coming up. Um, this is absolutely wonderful and powerful. As we look at this energy, we have the energy of the three of autumn and it says, Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Um, being um, compensated for your creative talent. So it is wonderful, a wonderful energy. It's a month of secrecy. Um, information is going to be um, coming out as a, as, a, as a month of epiphany that is going to be coming up. Um, be aware of this. I do love you guys. Please like and share these videos. If you're not yet a member of the channel, become a member. Use the blue button. Become a member. Because as you become a member, um, what you do is that you align the energies so that each and every person can receive these messages. Please leave a message how you felt this video. And I am saying namaste. Until next time.